Hi, I'm Ed, and today I'm going to go ahead and install a booster capacitor onto onto the top of our uh, air conditioner unit on top of our Mallard M185. Uh, it's a pretty standard job, though, for a lot of the uh, travel trailers that you use. Uh, the reason why you install these is because it helps reduce the uh, the amount of kind of a punch that the uh, uh, the actual uh, compressor does to a generator so you can use a uh, little bit lower uh, powered uh, generator uh, for uh, this type of uh, trailer so I happen to have a 2800 uh, watt uh, generator but it still uh, have to kind of ease up the actual compressor when I try to turn the actual air conditioner on so I'm gonna go ahead and install this uh, today and try to walk you through the actual steps and processes to show you how easy it is um, and uh, see how well this works Okay, so this is the capacitor I'm going to go ahead and install, and when we're, what you need to do we'll be able to open our uh, Dumtech um, air conditioner unit is just a standard uh, screwdriver because it uses these uh, standard uh, little screws here, and then be able to uh, start pulling off this whole, this whole piece once we remove all the screws, be able to get inside here and start seeing the... Okay, so once you get the, uh, the lid popped off, it's just basically just, uh, just four screws. Once you get the whole lid popped off and get inside here, here's the compressor over here. There's the condenser unit. Here's the actual, whoops, there's the condenser unit. Here's the, uh, sorry, uh, compressor, condenser. Here's the motor. And so here's the, uh, here's the blower fan for the evaporator on the ins uh, on this side. Uh, and this is actually really cool, by the way. So in case you ever wanted to see on the inside of one of these things, uh, this is actually just a foam piece and it actually separates pretty easily. And then this is the actual blower motor. This is actual blows. You notice it's the uh, it goes all the way through. So it's just, so it's just one motor for uh, for the fan and for the uh, uh, for the evaporator. And then so here's the uh, where the, where it actually gets cold on this side. And then down inside here, there's a Molex connector. And then this is where the optional heat is. It's not designed to really heat up the um, the trailer, but it is designed to help maintain the heat. So that way you can put that put one of those in. They're about eighty bucks. Uh, you can get those off of Amazon. And then I'm going to be putting one of those in pretty soon. But the idea with that is um, you get the uh, get everything all nice and heated up, and then you use that uh, when you're on shore power, uh, so that way you're not uh, burning as much uh, propane. So as far as the electrical, uh, this is where we're going to put the uh, put the capacitor. Where we're going to hook it up. So two screws right here. Then this is going to pop off, and then we'll have the capacitor inside here that we're going to be tying into. Okay, so when in doubt, uh, diagrams are your friends. So on the side of this box right here, uh, you see this here says uh, compressor start assist. You have white as your uh, start for your start, and then for the output of that is is red going to your uh, capacitor right here. So you notice you have uh, you have a fan uh, right here, and then you have a common, and then you have the herm that goes to red for the compressor. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is on the instructions on this guy, it basically talks about how you're going to be using a common and herm. Okay, and the wires are not polarly sensitive, so it doesn't necessarily matter which particular ones you actually use. But here is the capacitor that's in here. So if you look very closely, uh, this one in particular, herm is right here, and then common is over here, and then on this side, there's the black wire. That one is the fan, which matches up with. Uh, what this is here, so there's, actually is that black? That's brown. Sorry, and that matches up with the diagram right here. Brown going up to the to the motor for the fan. Okay, so red is going to be our our uh, compressor right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this and just go ahead and basically just slide it onto there. Okay. And then take the other one. And then just slide this on. I'm trying to be careful. I'm always paranoid about touching this stuff. Here we go. And now I'm just going to unbutton it up. So I just ran the, the wires through the uh, through this little hole right here. Okay. The reason why is because there's not a whole lot of slack to really work with. And so it's kind of like, well, where are you going to put the, where are you going to actually put this thing? And so what I just figured out is if I make the, the hole on the top of this just a little bit bigger, whoops, I can just a little bit bigger. I can put the uh, put the screw. What I did was I just found a uh, uh, metal screw, and then on the uh, on the upper side part right here, where the wires basically are, it's not going to interfere or touch any of the wires. I go ahead and uh, open, uh, put the uh, screw through the uh, the top little loophole piece right here, so that way the wires can, can uh, sit down here like this. I can keep them down and out of the way like this, All right? So that way this guy is not going to rattle around and if he does, he slide around, he'll just slide over to the side and rub against the side and he won't end up in the uh, in the fans. And there we go. So I'm ready to go ahead and uh, plug this in and, uh, and test it out and see if this uh, uh, 
if it's less of a, a less of a shock to the uh, generator. Okay, we got the generator running outside, so in theory, I should be able to just kick this straight over and. Yep. No problem with the generator. Yep. No problem. So it doesn't. Uh, it's not punching the uh, the generator as hard. Before, what I had to do is I had to go on the fan first. And then while the fan was still spinning, jump over to low and then bring it up. Now I could just go straight over. So as soon as the thing kicks on, it's fine. So. That will work perfectly for boondocking in the summertime. Be able to run the air conditioner now that I have that, uh, that boost capacitor on the air conditioner. Okay, so that was the install of a super boost capacitor onto a uh, air conditioner unit on top of a trailer. Um, we, ours happens to be a Mallard M185, but again, this could be used on, on all the air conditioning units for all the different types of different, various uh, camp travel trailers uh, that you use in order to be able to help uh, help reduce that uh, that punch to the uh, to the generator. Um, that, uh, like I said, well, I'm using a Honda 2800 uh, watt, uh, but I'm pretty sure it would work just fine with the uh, 2500 because uh, it seemed to not struggle at all uh, when uh, when adding this on there. So if this is helpful at all to you at all, go ahead, please hit the uh, the like and subscribe buttons uh, on the uh, on the screen here. And uh, thanks for uh, tuning into my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks.